next snack. Or laugh is too short to be serious. Now I'm not gonna hold y'all too long. I've done a review like this before. Oh man, what is going on with my face right now? It looks all bad, but oh well. Um, I've done a review on this before, just not the spicy one. So the spicy one, they add jalapenos to it. Um, so I don't think it's gonna be overly spicy, but that's just an FYI. Anyways, um, Taco Bell has brought out their um, chicken sandwich tacos nationwide. The catch is that it's not going to be in store availability until September 2nd. So just take a note on that. You can get on the app during happy hour, um, which is from 2 to 5. Just keep that in mind. 2 to 5 um, during the weekdays. And so you got today, tomorrow, and September 1st. Uh, that you can do that on the app um, and just be careful make sure to get on there I guess after two o'clock but from two to five you can go on the app and purchase these okay and you can purchase as much as you want I just bought two they are small so you might want to buy a lot of them but um, Papa Eats um, again mentioning you um, I don't know I mentioned him a lot well I don't typically watch a lot of people um, I have watched a good amount of his stuff and I have watched a good amount of other people's stuff. But, you know, he's, you know, lives in that Charlotte type of area. So I think he reviewed these. I think someone I watched reviewed them. And I believe it was Poppy. And I think he had to go twice. Um, and why do I bring this up? Because he's talking about how the, whoever it was, was talking about how the first time they had it, they, the breast was kind of like a chicken tender and it just didn't cut it. And then he went again, and it was, you know, a, a bigger piece of meat. Now, for me, that's kind of inverse. So when I went, I only had the one time to go. And it seemed like they had a good amount of chicken. Like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't like a chicken tender. But it wasn't, you know, like a big old chicken breast. So, this time, they kind of look like little chicken tenders. So that's a warning. But I, when I reviewed this, and I have high expectations, when I reviewed this, it was really good um, for what it is. You're not getting a lot of food, but for what you get, it's it's a good tasting thing. Um, it's kind of like, it throws me back to those, you know, the chicken chalupa, um, the, you know, the naked chicken chalupa. Um, except for, you know, it's a little bit different. It's got a bun that they don't typically do. So where would it rank if you know among my chicken sandwich rankings not extremely high i probably had it mid to lower but i'm thinking closer to mid um on that list i've you know tried i think 40 or 50 chicken sandwiches um i could put that list in my description i'm gonna try and put my review my original review in the description too for you to go check that out but yeah i'm kind of rambling on here i don't mean to i'm just going through the details as one should so we're gonna get ready and do this, all right? It's a, you know, it's a sandwich bun that's, you know, made into a taco. It's actually a pretty good bun. Uh, the chicken is fried in, it's like breaded with tortilla, um, you know, crumbles. And then you've got this, uh, I guess, creamy sauce is like a spicy sauce, but not really all that spicy. And then you got the choice of whether you want a jalapeno on there or not. So that's it. That's simply that. So, before we get here, please like, comment, share, and then smash that subscribe button. And check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. Now, people have been asking me, am I growing the beard out? Not intentionally. I just haven't shaved in a while, so that may happen. But my face kind of feels bloated right here, so I don't know what's going on. But maybe that's a side effect of what I'm eating and everything. So maybe I shouldn't be eating this, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so let's go ahead and get these tacos. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm sure, you know, uh, stock exchange will notice me doing that. I, you know, when I'm holding something, I kind of use my middle finger to kind of adjust the lighting here. And, uh, that's just making it worse. But now I'm not holding anything, so I'm using my pointer finger. So anyways, let's, oh, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Alright, 
I spent too long doing that, but it's just weird, like with the lighting and everything, it was going well until you know, the sun just was blazing down on me. But anyways, let's go ahead, try the normal one, and then we'll try the spicy one. And all it is is a jalapeno again, but you know, it is what it is. Let's try it out. Okay, so to me, this seems more like their pita stuff that they've done, their flatbreads, which last time I don't remember it being like that. The chicken's pretty good. It's nothing to write home about, but it does deliver on that, uh, that tortilla breading. I guess it's a little bit more buttery than uh, their pita flatbread thing, but it's nothing extremely impressive. It's good, and that sauce has a little bit of a kick. It's got some good flavor. But it definitely needs some more chicken in there. So I will warn you about that, I've, and I've been warning you, that may not be enough chicken, but if you get the right amount of chicken, then it's it would probably be an eight or an eight and a half. But with that said, I would give it a seven. I think it's fair, but it's not something amazing. Um, this one seems to have a little bit more chicken in it, uh, but again, it's kind of like the size of a chicken tender. So we got jalapeno on there and everything, I guess two jalapenos. So let's go ahead and try this one out too. Yeah, there's a lot more chicken in there. Hmm. Doesn't add a whole lot to it. There's a little bit more of a kick, I guess, and that distinct jalapeno flavor. But again, the sauce has more of a say in anything. I don't know. Again, opinions are subjective. I think I like it a little bit more with that jalapeno in it. Got that added kick to it, that added flavor. So it's something different in there. But again, it kind of files a little flat. Um, just not maybe. I don't think it just. I don't think it was good as last time. But it is a good product. Um, again, my recommendation: if you're going to pig out, you should pig out and um, get a bunch of these. Um, but for me, that was a seven and a half. I'd say. Um, but on a great day, probably an eight, eight and a half, maybe even better. Um, but overall, what I'm saying is. It's a good thing to try. It may not stack up with the other chicken sandwiches, but that's just because it's a little different. It's its own thing. And I think it's something that's worthy of, you know, looking into. But other than that, I, I don't have much else to say. I did ramble on. I gave you a lot of information. Hopefully that's useful information. If it's not, I apologize. But that's my review. This is my second time visiting it. And while I was excited, I didn't come out as satisfied as I was excited. I do prefer the uh, Naked Chicken Chalupa. That's just my hot take on that. But it is a good item. I, generally speaking, you'll probably not get a bad one of these. It probably won't taste bad unless there's like a really bad kind of chicken. Then maybe there's reason to worry. But other than that, good, good item. Definitely worth trying. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all around.